I'm, I'm taking this a step further because I'm, I'm, I'm done with this business that's happening to Iowa when it comes to the renewable fuel standard waivers. It's unacceptable what we're seeing uh, the president do. Uh, obviously, uh, we are we have reason to believe that he's all also encouraging these waivers. I've opened up an Office of Inspector General investigation into uh, those waivers to make sure that they're actually law-abiding. We have reason to believe that there are waivers being granted that the Department of Energy said should not have been granted. We also know that those waivers have been granted and they're supposed to be for hardship to companies like Chevron and Exxon, multi-billion dollar fossil fuel companies who do not have financial hardship. So right now what I see, what I see is we're putting more money, the president is putting more money in the pockets of rich shareholders of big fossil fuel companies because he's beholden to them and he's selling our farmers a bill of goods by coming out here and saying that he's going to increase E15 and then in the back door shut off our supply, our ability for our supply chain. This is just unacceptable. So I'm going to get to the bottom of this. We've got to find out what's happening because, you know, the president can tweet out whatever he wants to tweet out about his next big thing. But if there are processes in place within government departments that are allowing this to happen, then that's what we need to address and we need to get to the bottom of it, and I'm gonna make sure it happens. I am sick and tired of seeing hard-working farmers in Iowa being used as pawns in, in this administration, whether it's trade negotiation or whether it's fulfilling the desires of rich shareholders of big fossil fuel companies. So we're gonna to get to the bottom of this and make it right by the people in Iowa.